Welcome to my channel, I'm Bea. My channel is about art journaling, mixed media, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Now enjoy my video. Hi all! Welcome to my next friendly mail art postcard. So for this week I have uh, the, quote, the prompts Use one of the weekly budget-friendly backgrounds. Use at least three different colors of acrylic paint. I'm going to use five, in fact. Use a homemade stencil. And I do have this um, lady, which I have in several sizes, which I did make. I did make the sketch and then did scan it with a scan and cut. And then I have it in different sizes. But I think I'm going to use this size. I also have it in really large. I mean, pretty large. Hmm. That is the same size. But what now? This or this? I think I go for this. this time. So that's what I'm going to use as a stencil. Then add a word or a quote. And uh, it's going to be... The world is my inspiration. That's actually from Canvas Corp Brands uh, packages their products with words and pictures on it. So you can use even the packaging, which I think it's a neat idea. And then as usual, the fifth point, the fifth uh, prompt is send the mail art to somebody with a little hello. That can be anybody from your friends to your relatives or from your Facebook groups, whatever you choose. And I know I don't gonna control it. Um, for those who follow me, you know that I do the weekly backgrounds and I did lately with some painter's tape and some color and I thought, hmm, I'm gonna try that with a really thin washi tape. So that's what I'm gonna use. It's really small, it's about Mm. An eighth of an inch. Let's see. What is it? Oh, it's a, a quarter of an inch. No, hold on. I always have problem with the inch. That's how. Yeah, it's a quarter of an inch. So, it's a really small um, tape, and it is anyway time to use my tapes. I tend to save my things because I don't get them no longer, so, which is stupid. I did buy it for using. Do you have that too? That you think, I'm going to save that for the real artwork I'm going to do? Well, it's ne never going to happen. Just use your stash. I'm going to use the neon colors, the fluorescent colors for the background. And that's a purple from Liquitex, which is really a dark purple, which I'm going to use for outlining the stencil. That's my plan so far. And I start with the lightest color, which is the yellow. And I guess I don't need a whole lot of it. That's probably... I always can add more. I'm going to start... Again, it's one of those pre-cut um, watercolor postcards which I I'm using up. So, but of course you can cut your own postcard from a mixed media paper or whatever you have on hand. I don't think I need to clean the sponge with the yellow, but I'm going to switch the sponge when I go to the 
red colors. Okay, I'm gonna go dry again and then I will be back. And more tape. Neon uh, colors or fluorescent colors are always very transparent and the other thing you have to know about those colors, they are never light fast, which isn't a big deal for a postcard I think, but if you use it in an artwork you have to mix it in with some other colors. Now I try to go and remove the tape in the reverse order I have added it. It's not always easy, but <laughs> it seems to be less dangerous to pull up paint. That's, by the way, a heavy body acrylic paint, which is very thick.
I'm going to use the leftovers to go along the edges. I do like the edges a little bit colored in. Now to lift it up or not to lift it up is the question. I think I want to lift it up. So I have this foam type but it's a little bit too wide so I have to cut it smaller. Voila, that's my postcard and uh, I have printed myself on those uh, sticker papers like from Avery a little back, backing for my postcard. This one is, is actually pretty clean so I'm gonna put that on and then I'm ready to send it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Till soon!